I am very, very excited because today is the day that I finally get to put some colour on this huge garage rumpus room floor. I can't wait. Have a look at the colour. Isn't it amazing? It's going to look so good. So right now, my job is all about preparing the paint and getting it ready. And for my first coat of paint, it's really, really important that you follow the instructions. And it says you have to put no more than 10% of terps into the pot that you're using for your first coat. We're definitely going to use two here. So in my first pot, I've got four litres, so just under half a litre of terps. And it just helps the paint penetrate into the concrete. And that's what you want for the first coat. Now, as you can imagine, this is going to need a really, really good stir. Get your arm into it and be patient. It could take a while, but it's worth doing. I'm actually really surprised how well that all mixed together, how quickly it went right in. I have my brush and now it's time to start cutting in. Oh my gosh, I love this colour. Oh, look at that. When it comes to actually cutting in, you could use your paint tape across the edges, but if you're just really careful and you use a good paintbrush, a good quality paintbrush makes all the difference, I've got to tell you. Because when you're doing a big area like this, um, balance and texture really do matter. So investing just that little bit more in a good paintbrush, you're just going to get that better coverage. And you're also going to be able to cut in better. You're not going to get all the little bits that come flicking up. Oh, I can't wait to see how this looks when it's all on. This paint is just going down so well. And you know what? It should, because we've actually done the correct preparation. Uh, yesterday, we followed the rules and we acid etched the whole area. And then once that was all dried and cleared off, then we sanded it, just a light sand. And then we went over it with a really good vacuum cleaner, just sucked up every last little bit of dust and little micro hairs that do get caught in paint if they're just left behind. So we were left with this beautiful clean surface and it's working a treat. Actually, come to think of it, there is something that you can do to make sure that your surface, if you're going to paint, is ready to accept the paint. And that is, it's a little trick where you get just a little flick of water onto your actual slab, and if it beads up and stays beaded, then you need to do a whole treatment again. In other words, do another acid etch watch. It's really, really important to do that. If it sinks straight in, the water goes straight down, you're good to go with your painting. And that's exactly what we're doing here. The first coat is done. And how good does it look? I'm so excited. It's so amazing and it's such a testament to how paint works so well to just change and uplift a room so quickly. We've got our first coat down, we did the preparation and we also used the right paint, which is something I can't stress enough. When you're using a high traffic, high volume area like this and you're painting an area like this, you need to use the right paint, really heavy duty paint. It's built for this stuff. It's built for skateboards and cars and scratches and you name it, it can handle it. So make sure you get the right paint for the right job. But you know what, for this job, <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs>